Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm going to be receiving that order for immediate consideration. HJR uh, 2021. Representatives Hanover and McKinley. Here they are. Stay up. Thanks to the House for seeing that order for the immediate consideration of HJR 2021. Representative Hanover. Oh, oh, hang on. Hold on. Mr. Kohler, please read the title of HJR 2021. House Resolution 1021. Designation of Pac-Pro Racing as a Summer Heritage Sport in Colorado. Representative Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move HJR 1021 and ask that it be read at length. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Whereas, in the 19th century, it was common for Colorado miners to keep donkeys, known as pac to carry their tools and supplies through the Rocky Mountains as they prospected for gold, silver, and other valuable ores. And whereas it is said that at that time, two miners found gold in the same location and raced each other back to town to be the first to stake a claim to the pond. Neither miner could ride their animal because it was loaded, and so they ran alongside the burrows. And whereas, based on stories such as these, and in the spirit of carrying on the traditions of Colorado's early citizens, the sport of pack burrow racing was born. The first official event between Leadville and Fairplay, organized in 1949. And whereas pack burrow racing is the first of its kind in the world and is considered to be the only indigenous sport of Colorado. And whereas particular to the sport of pack burrow racing, an individual runs alongside and leads his or her burrow, which is weighed down by a 33 pound pack. And whereas thousands of people from around the state and beyond travel to the original mining towns of the Rocky Mountains to attend or participate in annual pack burrow races. And whereas there are currently organized pack burrow racing events in the towns of Idaho Springs, Georgetown, Buena Vista, Leadville, and Fairplay. Each event is part of a festival celebrating the town's history. And whereas Colorado Pack Burrow Racing has its own triple crown, requiring a racer to win all three consecutive Pack Burrow events in Fairplay, Leadville, and Buena Vista. And whereas the race held in Fairplay, Colorado is 29 miles in length and counts as an ultra marathon. And whereas Pack Burrow Racing is an inclusive sport, having welcomed women to compete since 1951. Barb Dolan is a 10-time Triple Crown winner, and most recently Karen Thorpe won the Triple Crown in 2011. Both women have been named Sportswomen of Colorado for Borough Racing. And whereas the exercise gained by participating in a packed Borough Race is beneficial and healthy for both runner and Borough. And whereas commemorating the unique and colorful heritage of Colorado and its citizens is essential to attracting visitors from around the United States and the world. Now, therefore, be resolved by the House of Representatives of the 68th General Assembly of the State of Colorado, the Senate concurring herein, that we, the members of the General Assembly, do hereby designate pack burrow racing as a summer heritage sport in Colorado. Be it further resolved that copies of this joint resolution be sent to former State Senator Ken Kluber, Colorado Tourism Office Director Al White, the Board of Trustees of the Towns of Buena Vista and Fairplay, the Board of Selectmen in the Town of Georgetown, the City Councils of the Cities of Idaho Springs and Leadville, and Brad Wong of the Western Pack Burrow Association. Representative McKinney. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Burrow is actually Spanish for donkey, and we come and think of the wild burros of the Southwest. They're actually wild donkeys. And this uh, animal is a very, very noble animal. You also know donkeys have a mark over their withers. That's a sign of the cross. When Jesus was crucified, all donkeys got that mark over the withers, the sign of the cross. It's a very biblical animal, and it had carried Mary, carried Jesus. Uh, David slew the Philistines with the jawbone of the donkey. So we're very proud to bring this to you to explain a little about what is uh, important to us in the equine industry. So uh, thank you for presenting this, and thank you to the uh, pack Racers. Representative Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I wanted to call your attention to the photograph that we're displaying on the screen. Um, you may or may not recognize this gentleman, but he does spend a little bit of time here at the Capitol uh, doing some advocacy work for PTA and Colorado Mountain College. Uh, John Giardino, in his younger days, was a pack racer, and actually in 1985, was given the honor of Rookie of the Year. He's one of my Lake County constituents, so I wanted to uh, definitely know what you were looking at there. This wasn't a promotion for wearing shorts at the Capitol since that was the prior conversation. 
Um, but I also wanted to make a couple notes. One is that this, the concept behind this resolution started with the ideas from children in a sixth grade class in Edith Keeter Elementary School in Fairplay, and actually in 2006. The kids got actively involved and signed petitions in 2007 to have this um, heritage board be recognized at this level. And in 2008, the Pack Borough Association got involved with the issue, and there's some members of that association here with us in the house today. Just so that you know, there are continuing Pack Borough races in Colorado. The races actually started in 1949, so this summer will be the 64th year that the races have been going on. And they'll be taking place in Georgetown, in Idaho Springs, in Fairplay, in Leadville, and Buena Vista this summer. Thank you, Representatives Hamner and McKinley. Colleagues, I do know that there is a stroke awareness rally that will begin at noon. Uh, if there are members that are participating in that, um, please consider yourself excused to move down there, and then the rest of us can move down there upon the uh, end of the consideration of this resolution. Representative Massey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm proud to be up here supporting this. I've worked with this group. We started looking at this last year to actually carry it. And what I'm saying, we ran out of time, but it's, it's, a, it's a great tradition. This is truly a sport that's native to Colorado. It's, it's great fun. I had the opportunity to actually start the race in fair play last year, and uh, well, it's a great time. I mean, Borough Days and Fair Play is, is, it burns out a tremendous crowd. It's a great tradition. Um, the, the community truly embraces it. You know, this is also in my district, and it's, it's a big race there, too. I, I mean, Leadville's obviously in Representative Hammers, but um, these, these are great traditions in these rural communities, and it's really, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to watch, and, and the finish is great. And, um, you know, these, besides the animals, these guys are, and, and girls are truly athletes. I mean, it's, it's a tough race. Climbing up a mountain pass, pulling up, a pack animal is not something that all of us would consider doing or be able to do. But, you know, I'm proud to be here to support this resolution today. Again, it's a, it's a great heritage for Colorado. It's something I'm glad to see us clearly identify as a heritage sport. So thank you very much. I mean, do encourage your support. Representative Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And colleagues, interestingly enough, I have some stake in this uh, uh, resolution 1021. I'm a property owner in Park County, just six miles north of Fair Play, so I have not participated in the borough races of Fair Play, but I've been there for the opening, and I have actually seen uh, Representative Massey do his best work uh, starting that race. And so I, I, it truly does bring a lot of folks into that area. Uh, and. Also, I have tried to go up Mosquito Pass, which is where they take these burrows, in a four-wheel drive and barely escaped with my life under those conditions. I can't imagine doing this all in one day up Mosquito Pass and back down to Fair Play, uh, hauling a burrow or pushing a burrow or having them pull you or how it works out. I mean, it's a tremendous feat. It really is. So I rise in support of this resolution. Representative Fisher. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, members of the audience also have my support to this resolution. My wife and I were proud owners of, uh, of a girl, a donkey, for 25 years. And, uh, and we used to frequently go up to the Fair Play Borough races and as spectators, of course. And um, we did, I did actually try to train our, our donkey. His name was Adam. Um, but I think uh, Representative McKinley, he was a very noble animal, but he was smart enough not to know that he would not want to do this uh, athletic endeavor. So uh, we never did actually make it as an entry to the race, but having run a couple of marathons myself, I can attest to the athletic abilities of the racers, uh, both the donkeys and the and the uh, runners. Uh, they go up to 13,000 feet on the Mosquito Pass at the Fair Play race, and it, that's just an incredible, and they, it doesn't take them all day, but it's like, they, I think the record is under under four hours in, in a three hour time frame. And if you've ever 
if you've ever run, you know that that's an incredible feat. So, uh, great, uh, great resolution. I'm pleased to offer my support. Representative Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, colleagues, for speaking in favor of this very important resolution for the heritage of Colorado. And um, I also, oh. Representative Hammond, before you offer your amendment, Representative Brown would like to address these chairs one. Thank you. That would be great. Representative Brown. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and um, I come in in uh, support of this resolution, uh, mainly because of the boroughs. And some of the history of the boroughs, they were, uh, the pack animals used in mining. If you look at the old pictures of, of all of the old silver and gold mines in, in Colorado, and also in the uh, business that I'm in, and still am in, uh, the old sheep herders. Uh, used to pack their camps on the on the uh, burrows and uh, and they just turn them loose. The burrows would stay with the sheep and uh, go. They move to the next camp and then he unpack them and, and the the uh, burrows would just graze with the sheep. So they're they're a very uh, thrifty, uh, uh, very strong uh, animal and uh, certainly uh, something to be proud of here in Colorado. Representative Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Representative Brown and colleagues, for your support of this important resolution. I do need to um, move Amendment L001 and ask that it be displayed, please. L001 has been properly moved and displayed. Representative Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And between the time of drafting the resolution and today, we realized there were a couple technical corrections that needed to be made. On line 21 on page 2, uh, Barb Dolan is actually a 13-time Triple Crown winner of pac Racing. And on line 22, Karen Thorpe has actually been a two-time winner. So I wanted to make sure that we had the resolution accurately presented in front of you. I also have an amendment to reflect that we actually have 35 House Republicans in the caucus. We'll be offering later. Colleagues, motion before us, Representative Hammond votes in L001, the House Regulation Resolution 1021. Is there objection to taking a voice vote? Seeing none, we'll proceed in that manner. All of those in favor of Amendment L001, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Motion carried. L001 is adopted. Representative Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I move that the current roll call be added as co sponsors. We still have to pass the resolution. Representative Hammond. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, it's been alluded to about the maybe stubbornness or difficulty of training a donkey or a mule. It's not true. They're not hard to train at all. They're not stubborn. All they have to do is spend enough time with them to learn what it's going to take to get along with them. And when you do that, they're really easy to train and they're very really well. So uh, with that, I have to move the House of the Joint Resolution 12-1021. Colleagues, question for us, the adoption of HR 1021 is there objection to taking a voice vote, saying none, we will proceed in that manner. All of those in favor of HR 1021, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Motion carries. HR 1021 is adopted. Representative Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Now I move that the current roll call be added as co-sponsors. Seeing no objection, the current roll call be added as co-sponsors to HR 1021. Representative Kennedy. Thank you. Thank you for your vote today. Colleagues, thank you very much. Uh, we will, the House will stand. Representative Henry.